Welcome to Styles Cultivated. I'm Tracy. If everyday fashion with a sprinkle of luxury is something you're interested in, then go ahead and join this community. On the agenda today, we'll be talking about decluttering the closet. Now, I know that this is something that none of us really want to do, but it's something that we have to do, you know, adulting. We have to adult today. So, what I'm going to do is urge you to come along with me, go into that closet, and we're going to purge some things today. I have 12 tips for you, one bonus tip, and if that's something you're interested in, then just Keep watching. And now we're in the closet. We're going to declutter and purge this closet. We're gonna get ready for spring, summertime. So we're going to do a seasonal purge. We're gonna switch over from fall, winter to spring, summer. But what I'm going to do is I keep everything in my closet. I keep summer, fall, winter, spring, all in my closet all at one time because I only allow myself to be in this closet. I can't have any more things than that because your girl loves things and things love her. What we're going to do is we're going to go through and and purge all these things in that same tone we're going to be thinking about does it have a hole does it have a stain if so we need to get rid of it is it more than one size too big is it more than one size too small if so we're going to get rid of it does it make me happy does it give my eyes a little sparkle no <laughs> we're going to get rid of it what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go up here and give you a little speed through of me going through taking everything down and then i'm going to show you the piles that i've made up for my purge We're in the midpoint of our clutter and deorganization and we have a dry clean pile, a trash pile, a donate pile, and we have a consign pile. And we're done decluttering. We're gonna give ourselves a round of applause. We have cleaned our space and now we're going to organize. So to start out with our organization and make sure that everything looks aesthetically pleasing, we need to make sure that we need to have matching hangers. Now they don't necessarily have to be these velvet velour hangers. They can be plastic, wood, metal, whatever you want, but we need to make sure that they all match and that they're all facing in the same direction. So everything should be facing in the same direction in your closet. After that, we're gonna think about closet placement. So for me, I I like to organize my items from things I use the most to things I don't use too much of. So I have all my like summery spring stuff in the beginning of the closet because here in the desert it doesn't really stay cold that long. So I have um, placed my t-shirts at the beginning, um, sleeveless shirts, then you see my long sleeve shirts and sweaters go towards the back. And then at the bottom I have short jeans and then joggers and sweat sweatpants and things like of winter nature towards the back of the closet. So you organize the closet the way that it best placement, the way that it best suits you. And after that, we're going to organize it by type and style. So shirts, you know, sweaters, you know, so forth. And then once we organize it by type, we're going to organize it by color. Now I use the rainbow coating system and that is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I don't wear a lot of purple, at least not right now. I don't have that in my closet. So that's how I have my closet arranged. And then you throw your neutrals in however you see fit. I want to see light colors when I first enter my closet so I do whites, beiges, browns in front of the reds and then I put my pink and then towards the back of after purple which I don't have purple I have blue. I have my gray and I have my black back there and then I sandwich in the rest of the colors. After we've done closet placement there's a couple of items that I think you should have in your closet. I call them are my closet essential and that is I have a little sewing kit and in this sewing kit I have scissors, you know, thread, measuring tape if you're going to um, need measurements if you're ordering something. There's a multitude of things that, you know, I don't need to leave my closet because I have all those things right here. Closet essentials that you need to care for your items. After that, jewelry organizer. I have all my jewelry out because I need to see everything. I need to see it. I want to touch it. I want to see it. You figure out what's best for you. I use a 
hanging jewelry organizer. You can hang it. I have a spare wall. You can hang it over the door if you don't have a lot of space. Make sure we're using all the space in our closet. Um, I have a st above the my shoe rack. I have storage bins where I have all my travel stuff. You know, things that you don't use day to day, but those are things that you need. Make sure, you know, you're using all your space under the bed storage units, under the sofa storage units. The next thing that I would say is you need a full length mirror for your closet so that you can see your outfit of the day. So you could do an outfit of the day hook. So I have one on my wall or you could do a valet hook, which you could put on against a wall or in a shelving unit and you pull it out and you hang your clothes on for your outfit of the day so that you can have yourself together. If you don't put your things out for the week, at least you could put your outfit out the night before. Give yourself a good head start in the morning. And my last bonus item I, that I have, and this is for all my handbag girls out there. I have a basket in which I put all my handbag essentials. I have hand sanitizers, tissue, gum, different kind of perfumes and lotions and things. This little section is usually for the things that are in my bag when I'm getting ready to switch out bags or if I'm not having switched out bags. And I just want to put my bag up. I put them all in here and I usually leave them at the corner at the start of my closet so that it's easy to find when you're ready to switch your out bags. If you're a girl like me who likes to switch bags like almost every day, please go ahead and leave comments. Leave me any ideas that you have on how to declutter your closet. I would love to hear from you any tips that you have for me. If you like this video, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. Thank you. You have a good day.